Hey guys, Big Jordy Geek here, and uh, it's nice to have you, uh, well, it's nice to be back. Uh, we're doing the last tutorial mission today, uh, mission 23, and we see the introduction of a Knoptic Scarab to the game. So uh, let's uh, crack on and start rolling some dice, shall we? Now, before we get into the battle report, um, I'd just like to say a quick word from our wonderful sponsor, The Daylight Company. Um, I love their products. I actually own a Lumi task lamp myself, uh, which is an absolutely phenomenal piece of kit. It really does make a huge difference uh, in your painting area. I'm not gonna keep you up with some spon with a sponsored message, um, but I will say that if you are if you love your painting, this will really make a world of difference. The only problem is. You'll see a lot more faults with your painting work than you would before, but that's a good thing because it helps you improve. Anyway, let's get on with the battle report. So let's start by taking a look at the armies in this uh, in this particular game, and we have the Space Marines up first. Uh, we have uh, three uh, Primaris Aggressors armed with Flamestorm Gauntlets, and a Librarian in Phobos armor. On the part of the Necrons, we have our trusty warriors, five with Gorse Flayers, five with Gorse Reapers, and some Canoptech Constructs, a Canoptech Spider, and uh, three swarms of Scarabs. And here is the setup on the board, the uh, Necrons at the top there, uh, warriors on the left, Canoptech Spider, and then Scarabs, and at the bottom we have the Aggressors and the Librarian. The Necrons take the first turn, uh, unfortunately, uh, I seem to have not taken this picture correctly uh, at all, so that's a bit of a, uh, an annoying thing. So I haven't shown that they moved forward. Uh, the Scarab forms move forward 10, the Warriors 5, and the uh, Spider 6. So we're going to go straight on with the Canoptic Spider open fire on the Marines with its particle beamers, hitting with three of its six shots. Uh, all three of those cause uh, wounds. Um, and the aggressors fail two out of the uh, three up uh, saves uh, and thus lose two wounds. So uh, we've got an aggressor there left with one wound. The warriors with the gorse freepers fire and hit the aggressors five times out of ten, um, which is a shame. They're not in their half range, so they don't get to, not. These are <laughs> these are the wrong ones. They are they 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 don't have the assault. Uh, sorry, rapid fire rule. These just get two shots straight up. Uh, but just two of those five wounds that, uh, that, that five hits cause wounds. Uh, the aggressors save one of those uh, with a five plus. The Reaper, the Gorse Reaper is minus five, so they get a six there, which saves it. And the other goes through, killing the already wounded aggressor. The Warriors with Gorse Flares fire five times. They're all out of half range, so they only get one shot each, and they hit the aggressors twice. Uh, one of those hits causes a wound. Uh, which the aggressors managed to save. So it's Space Marine turn one, and the Marines walk forward towards the Necrons to get into an ideal firing range. The Librarian attempts to cast Smite, but rolls a double one, so he suffers Perils of the Warp, uh, which means that he, uh, a double one basically means it's a failure, uh, that, that comes with uh, danger. Uh, so he has to take D3 wounds. Uh, so rolling the D3, we get a three, which uh, rounded down is two wounds. So he takes two wounds. The librarian then fires his bolt pistol at the uh, um, at the scarabs. Uh, hit it, sorry, the warriors hitting them. Uh, this causes a single wound, but the necrons are able to withstand that. The aggressors then fire their flamestorm gauntlets. These each having a uh, there, there being two uh, flamestorm gauntlets on each uh, uh, aggressor, and those being d6 wounds. So that is a total of uh, twelve hits. Of those 12 hits, seven cause wounds, and as a result, uh, two Necron Warriors are destroyed. Not a great deal. The aggressors then charge into the Warriors and roll a seven, gets them into combat. Uh, the Librarian rolls a seven, which gets him into combat with the uh, Scarabs. The aggressors attack first, um, hitting, the Necro uh, hitting the Necrons five times with seven attacks. And uh, the, these cause five wounds. Now, as the AP is minus three, the Necrons can't withstand the attack, and five are just outright destroyed. The Librarian attacks with his four sword, hitting the Scarabs four times. Uh, this causes four wounds, 
And as it's D3 wounds, the dice are rolled and a total of eight wounds are inflicted, which destroys uh, two of the scarabs that they can't take a save because of the uh, AP there on the four sword. Uh, at this point, I should have attacked the scarabs, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> uh, so we move on to the uh, warriors uh, who attack the aggressors. They get three attacks. Uh, two of those uh, result in wounds. And this actually does manage to pierce the armor of one of the aggressors. So one aggressor goes down to two wounds. Um, so in the warriors' morale phase, they lost... Uh, uh, they they lost uh, um, seven warriors, so they comp their their uh, morale is ten. So they roll a four, which means uh, they uh, score an eleven, which is above their leadership, and another Necron uh, warrior dies. Uh, in the attrition roll, um, both uh, remaining warriors stay on the board. Neither rolls a one, so they they're fine. Uh, in Necron turn two, the uh, spider moves towards the library with the aim of joining that combat after uh, re, uh, reanimating a scarab swarm in its command phase. The spider charges into combat and it makes it there. Uh, it can't shoot anything, everyone's in combat. So the spider attacks first, it gets five attacks uh, with its automation claws, uh, three of which hit. Of those three hits, um, free cause wounds um which is uh good for well uh free hits cause wounds uh one wound managed to pierce the armor of the librarian and reduces him down to two wounds uh the scarabs then attack uh um, <laughs> i forgot they were first turn they got lots of attacks they land six out of eight attacks three of which are unmodified sixes uh, and so wound the uh, librarian automatically in in addition to any wounds uh, we're about to uh, uh so two more wounds are caused uh, with the six and the five there and uh yeah so um the librarian fails to make all of his uh, saves and thus uh, he he actually um dies um just can't make the saves which is not good for him so the spider the scarabs and spider consolidate towards the aggressors uh so the aggressors here have uh, uh get to attack the warriors uh hitting them uh three times uh this causes uh two wounds uh which is enough to destroy the uh warriors out to right um so the aggressors consolidate uh towards the uh, canoptic uh, constructs so the aggressors make a shuffle towards the constructs in their turn two. Uh, they fire their flame storm gauntlets, uh, uh, which sorry, I've moved back there. They fired their great flame storm gauntlets there. Um, they've got uh, um, eight shots in total. Um, of those uh, uh, eight shots, um, you are you're getting uh, six uh, wounds there. Uh, the scarabs are only able to save uh, two of those. Uh, so. Um, one of the swarms is completely destroyed. Uh, so that uh, is not uh, handy for them, is it? Uh, the aggressors then charge into the scarabs. They get a, uh, a 10 on the charge roll there. One goes in to attack the uh, scarab swarm and the other goes to attack the, uh, um, uh, the, the uh, spider there. Uh, the aggressor attacking the swarm makes three attacks and hits it three times. Uh, this causes uh, two wounds. Now, that is minus three AP. Uh, that means that the uh, Scarabs simply do not get a save because they are a six plus armor save. So that destroys the last swarm. The Sergeant attacks the Spider uh, four times, landing all four hits. Uh, these four hits cause uh, three wounds, uh, all of which tear apart the Spider uh, because he's uh, not got uh, uh, the AP is minus three. The Spider's armor save isn't enough and it's two wounds each, which completely rips apart the Spider and leaves the Space Marines victorious in this game. So let's uh, go wrap this up. So yeah, that game was a lot more enjoyable than the past few games. It didn't feel like the new unit that was introduced was given a mission which completely overpowered. And it was nice. We're starting to use more full rules. So we had a Perils of the Warp there. We had, uh, uh, which was really quite cool. Um, so yeah, the, Necro the Necrons couldn't manage it, but I think mm, it could have gone, like, you know, there were aspects where it could have gone either way, but it is what it is. Anyway, 
next time we're starting the scout missions now we're gonna have a bit of a change in the way we do things now uh so wednesdays will be the imperium report day so from now on a week's time will be my next imperium report Saturdays, I'm going to try and do something a bit different on Saturdays. So uh, I'm going to try and record tomorrow a um, Zone Mortalis uh, battle report for uh, um, uh, for Horus Heresy. 500 points, something a little simple. And I'm going to try and work on that. Uh, and the Saturday afterwards, I'm hoping to get the Chaos Marine report done. So we're going to change things up a little. We're going to be focusing less on dice rolls, more on story. Although the Imperium report will be having more dice rolls than, than, than you would have in the other reports. But my Saturday reports, more about the story, less about di individual dice rolls. Uh, but thanks for uh, watching, as usual. Uh, give us a like. Uh, dislike if you didn't like it. Subscribe. Go back and watch my entire back catalogue. Tell all your friends and everybody you meet on the street about, you know, go watch Big Geordie Geek's videos. In the meantime, keep rolling those dice.